Hi, this is Mark, just showing this quick video with an overview and a few examples of the new Dynamic Zone Visibility feature that was recently released in version 2022.3. So in this dashboard, I have a chart of sales on the left and then a collection of charts on the right that represent a particular analysis scenario. So in this first one, we're focusing on one product in one region, in this case, bookcases. And I can go ahead and select a different product. So now we're looking at storage and so on. Okay, so the next scenario, number two, is going to be looking at comparing products. So let's say we select a few products. This time we have all of those products coming to the view and the title changes to be a comparison now. And you can go on, select a few more, and they'll come into the view as well. Um, so this is our second scenario, again, with different set of charts now on the right-hand side. Then we might want to focus on one particular product across the region. So it's a cross-region analysis. So let's say we want to look at appliances here. Um, now it's going to select all three of those across the regions using the tooltip selections. And I've got the third scenario, which is a cross-region analysis for this subcategory appliances. So we might want to focus in on the category of office supplies in total. So all sub-products there. So we can click on office supplies. So this is actually the same scenario, a cross-region analysis, but this time at the category level instead of the subcategory. And then we might want to focus in on, let's say, the south region. So we go to the south and pick that region from the tooltip. Okay, and that selects all of the products in the south region. And now we have this fourth kind of analysis, which is a focus on one particular region. And we see all the products, sales, profit, and quantity. And then finally, what we might want to do is actually just look at all regions, all products. And in this fifth scenario, we're looking at all products, all regions, and at the order ID level. Okay, so that is one scenario that I'm thinking of how you might be able to use this uh, new feature in terms of changing the layout of the dashboard, showing different types of charts. You could also use it for sheet swapping as well. So, for example, if we have make a selection here, we select these four marks. We can show the detailed values for each of those marks, the quantity sales and so on. But if we select many more marks, there's going to be too much detail to show in that table. So uh, with many more marks selected, we could show a different chart, such as this distribution. We can still select some of these outliers. We want to go back to look at the detail just for those marks that are selected uh, and sort of play around with that in that way. So we could select these few here, for example, and just look at those two marks and get the detail that way. So anyway, that's a few um, examples that I'm thinking of. So there's a few workarounds I had to put in place to make all of this functionality work at the moment. And I'm wondering if that is really the best way to do it. So I'm still exploring the feature a little bit and still confirming with a few people what exactly the type of calculations that are allowed or are not allowed. Um, so once I've confirmed on that, I'll be able to create a few more tutorial videos actually stepping through the best way to do these kind of things. So stay tuned for that. Um, those videos will be coming shortly.